Welcome back everyone, it's Sylvia from Aussie Scrapper. I hope you're all well and ready for another layout. So as usual, I started by picking my photos and this time round I have quite a few photos there of my darling girl covered in chocolate. So the first thing I did was I tried to find a background paper and that paper that you see in the background does not stay. I trimmed down some of my photos to work out which ones I'm going to use and here I'm going to confess that my first attempt at this layout landed up in the bin. I didn't have the right paper so you will soon see a haul video because I had to go and get a special paper for this photo. I land up using these bow bunnies back to backs. It's the Shutterbug collection I think from Mama Ratsy. And it is an old one. It's going back to 2013. So glad to get it out of my stash. And I'm going to use it just as some layering. But first I did find this other piece of uh, paper in my stash. It was just scraps. And I did the first matching. And then I do the second matching with that lovely film paper. If you're a follower of mine, I'm sure you're going to know that my next step is that I'm going to use my archival ink in coffee to ink the edges of this paper because I hate those raw white edges and I do it also because I think it just adds a nice final touch. So into my stash of doilies and I found that lovely gold foil one. It's from the Regic store and I just to me it reminded me of if you get like Cadbury chocolate it's usually covered in that lovely gold foil. So that was where I got my inspiration from and I could not find any embellishments or chocolate embellishments is what I'm trying to say. So I went to my silhouette and using the print and cut feature I made my own. Then I found these Kaisercraft mini tiles and I'm just going to use it to spell the words is an A because the title is going to be chocolate is a girl's best friend. From the Tim Holt small talk booklet I pulled out this lovely little saying or phrase, whatever you want to call it, and it says, there is no such thing as too much candy. And I thought that that was very appropriate for these photos. This chipboard that says friends is also from the Reject store. And what I did was I added some of the decoil foil, it's like a glue adhesive pen they call it, and I put it all over the, the word friend, and then I got some foil and I just smooshed it all on and I've got this lovely gold foiled friend. I'm just going through all my papers to see what I'm going to use as a background. So that final paper that you see there, I matted that on some brown cardstock. Now this is me showing you here. So there's the brown cardstock and it's from Eco Park. It's, it is a new one. It's from the Just Married collection. And that's what I'll end up buying one of my haul videos because I had nothing appropriate for this photo. I did cut out these banners on my silhouette machine and I did do two. One is an offset and it's that lovely chocolate colour. And then the other ones that sort of was just cut on white cardstock with the, the letters that spell out chocolate out of it. And I also made those little... Are they called reinforcers? Eyelet reinforcers? Whatever they're called. I just made them for the edge. I just thought that that gave it a nice finishing touch. My banner is complete there. I just have to find some twine. So I did go into my stash and I found this lovely sort of beigey coloured string. And it is also from the Regex store. It came in a few different colours quite a while ago. So I don't know if you can still get it. But I just thread it through all those little holes there and my banner is done. I am really happy how the completed banner looks and the string and how it all came together and it was just perfect for a homemade title. This stencil that looks like drips is from Scrap Mats. It's stencil ST9033.ag if anyone wants to get it because Scrap Mats is an Australian manufacturer and they're absolutely great quality. My next step was to mix some texture paste with some Thinner Bear Rust Effect paste in the colour Red Rust. And I also added a few squirts of the Colour Blast in the sepia colour and that gave me this lovely milk chocolatey colour. It looks better when it dries, trust me. Once again, I dived into my huge 
collection of papers and I was looking for something to tie everything in and I found this lovely paper that just brought out the sort of um, greeny beigey tones in the film paper and it's from Fancy Pants and it goes back to 2011 so yes once again I got rid of some of my old papers and of course I trimmed it down to fit everything a bit more cohesively I guess is the word I'm looking for and I'm just going to be gluing down my chocolate banner and I'm using some glue dots just as added protection, I am going to adhere, or not I'm going to, I did adhere the strings of that banner at the back with some washi tape. I then take out some of these alpha stickers from Creative, and they're actually from Kmart here in Australia, and I spell out the words Girl's Best. So the title will be Chocolate is a Girl's Best Friend, and don't we all know it? For some reason, I decided that I needed to work on the word friend that I had earlier foiled and I just took the Prima Marketing Metallic Wax in the Bronze Age colour and I'm just using my finger to rub it all on. I do, have, I do like how this looks, but I also, now looking back on this video, I like how the gold looks too, so who knows what I was thinking at the time. Anyway, all's good. Here are some close-ups and I just love how this layout came together. And the other good thing was I learned how to use the print and cut feature on my silhouette. Something that I didn't know how to do so it forced me to learn a new technique. Here are some close-ups and thank you all for your support. Please give this video a thumbs up if you do like it because it does help with the whatever it is that YouTube look at. And till my next layout, I hope you're all well, stay safe, and I will see you soon. If you have any questions or there's anything you want to know, please just leave it in the comments and I will get back to you. Bye!